Hey friends, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this video because I've been wanting to film this video for weeks, maybe even like months. I have been collecting all of my empties and I'm going to be sharing a bunch of Bath and Body Works, general body care, skincare items, and a couple beauty products with you today. And I have some candles. So lots of good stuff I'm excited to share. As I mentioned before, if you haven't visited my channel recently, or maybe you're a longtime subscriber, you will have seen that I've been sprinkling in a little bit of body care content, Bath and Body Works. Um, so with that, I thought it might be fun to do my first empties video. I've been really focused on using up products that I have. So I may be introducing content like today's video into my channel. And I just have so much stuff that I finished, so I thought this would be a perfect time to share it with you all. I always think it's really helpful to know what people actually use up and what they don't because it's a huge indicator of what is worth purchasing and what is not worth purchasing. So that's what we're going to be doing today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. As I mentioned, my name is Brittany. Primarily on my channel, I do cooking videos and grocery hauls, but I've been sprinkling in body care content as well. So... I'm excited to have you here. If you like any of those areas, I would love to have you join my channel, my little YouTube family. Hit the subscribe button, and if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like. If you hear any strange noises from behind me, I've got my little schnauzer tucked right between that pillow over there. Let me see if I can show you him. I think you can see the top of his head. Yeah, he's right there, and he looks very content, so I'm not going to move him. Oh, he just... I disturbed him. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So first category I'm gonna go through is Bath and Body Works hand soaps. I have quite a few. I find that with my Bath and Body Works stash, I do go through hand soaps the most. I just think it's something that we're using all the time. And especially since I work from home, I'm using hand soap all the time. It's not like I'm going to an office and there for a majority of the hours that I'm spending a week. So. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hand soaps. So the first one I have is Raspberry Tangerine. And let's see if my camera will focus today. So this one I picked up during the semi-annual sale. I know I've talked about this in previous videos. This is one of the gel ones. I actually prefer the gel ones. I know some people prefer the foamy ones. And I do like the foamy ones. But for me, I have really dry skin. I have eczema, so I find that the gentle gel hand soaps, just my skin appreciates a little more than the foamy ones. The foamy ones can make my hands a little bit drier and cracked. And you're probably like, then why do you use the foamy ones? Because I just love the Bath & Body Works soaps. There's something just so satisfying about them. And they really just don't compare to any other soaps. But I do find myself having to take breaks from them, but then I always just come back to them. So Raspberry Tangerine, I really liked this one. This one just has a really nice like fresh citrusy smell, but at the end you get the little bit of tartness from the raspberry. So I would purchase this one again. I think this is the one I got that was like 75% off. Such a great deal. And you know what guys, I'm so mad at myself because Last weekend was the $2.95 hand soap sale at Bath & Body Works and all their fall stuff's out. And I was honestly, I can't even be that sad about it because it's my fault. I was just tired and didn't feel like going out because we had a really busy weekend last week. And so I just didn't make it out. So that's my own problem. Like now I hate myself, but I guess it is what it is. The reality is Bath & Body Works has sales all the time and I get coupons. So I'll be able to go out and get some soaps as I need them. The next one I have is Sunshine and Lemons. This was a foaming one. This one, again, was just like that classic lemon smell, very fresh. Oh, I really liked this one. I am a sucker for, I love hand soaps that are citrusy, um, especially my kitchen. Like this is the one I had next to my kitchen sink. And I really enjoyed this one. I got this one at 75% off. It's in my annual sale. Some of the other ones I have here are more summery scents. Um, one standout soap that I enjoyed a lot more than I thought I was going to is Bubbly Rosé. This actually came in that little butterfly 
box that I picked up during one of their candle sales. That box was like a freemium, not a freemium, but you know, it was like spend so much money and you can get this box for X amount of dollars. And it was a really good deal. And I got it around Mother's Day. I'll link the video here if you want to go back and watch that haul. But this came in it and this was standout. First of all, the packaging is so cute with the little gold rim at the top and just the little pink sketches of the champagne flutes. This one I kept in my bathroom and I'm trying to open it. This one was just a nice, sweet, very, it's like um, champagne toast, but like a little less sweet because to me, champagne toast is like not my favorite scent, but this is like right, it's right up that alley. Let me see if the notes are on here. Oh, and see, that's what it is. It's got cranberry juice in it. So there's like a little bit of tartness at the end that takes away from the sweet notes. So it's Spinks, <laughs> speak. Pink Sparkling Rosé, Sweet Blood Orange, and Splash of Cranberry Juice. So again, those are all notes I love. Like, I love citrus. And it's just a really nice scent. I feel like it's just like a really pretty girly scent. So it was fun to have it in my bathroom. So the rest of the scents are very, very summery. So I've got Coastal Watermelon. This one I did enjoy. I really enjoy watermelon scents. So it smells exactly what you expect it to smell like, watermelon. I have um, the Passion Fruit and Banana Flower Hand Soap. This one I really, really enjoyed in the hand soap form. I also have this in a shower gel that's currently in my shower. Probably about three-fourths done of it. Surprisingly, the shower gel is kind of breaking me out, which is weird because I use all the other Bath & Body Works shower gels and have no issues. But for whatever reason, that one, like, I'll get these little, like, bumps that pop up, which is very strange. Have you guys ever experienced that with Bath and Body Works stuff? Like, but not like consistently, just like one scent. I don't know what it is about that one, but it doesn't really agree with my skin. But Derek actually said he used it the other night and he loved the smell. But this is just a really nice, like tropical smelling scent. It reminds me of Jamaica and I just love it. It's passion fruit, pineapple leaves, and banana flowers. I know this one's not like a favorite of most people, but I really enjoy it. Then I have Bright Summer Days. This is just a nice, like, summery, fresh scent. The notes are coconut, milk, sunny, starfruit, and warm sands. Then I have my last Bath & Body Works soap, which is Cucumber Melon. I've had this one for a while. I honestly can't remember when I picked it up, but I finally used it. And I know a lot of people, like, Cucumber Melon gets some hate, but... I'm not a huge fan of it like in body care items, but I really did enjoy it in the hand soap because it is just a really like fresh and clean smell. So that's my thoughts on cucumber melon. I know you either love it or you hate it. I would say I'm somewhere in the middle. I don't think I foresee myself like going to binge buy cucumber melon, which you can't even really do because it's like a retired scent. It did come out for semi-annual sale. But I, I like it in the hand soap, so if I ever saw it in the hand soap form again, I would pick it up. Lastly, I have one last hand soap that's not Bath & Body Works, and this is a favorite brand of mine. And like I mentioned, like sometimes I have to take a break from the Bath & Body Works hand soaps because my skin gets so dry. So this is like this the hand soap that I go to when I need to really moisturize my hands. And that is Mrs. Myers. This one is in the daisy scent which was for springtime and I really really liked it and the one thing I like about it's just it's a really nice floral scent not too strong but what I really love about Mrs. Myers is one it's so moisturizing like there's definitely olive oil in the hand soap which makes it super moisturizing it doesn't really foam up as much as like the Bath & Body Works soap. So that is something to keep in mind. Like if you really want your hands to get super lathered up, it's not like the same as using a Bath & Body Works foaming hand soap. But I love it. And I actually was just in Target last weekend. And I'm starting to run low on hand soaps. I think I have like one fall one that I have tucked away for Bath & Body Works. And then like one other like summer one. So I was like, let me pick up just a backup hand soap to have. And I picked up 
Mrs. Meyers and apple cider. And believe it or not, guys, I'm filming this video at the end of August. They only had one fall hand soap left at Target. It is so crazy and wild to me, like, how far in advance fall starts now. <laughs> it's so wild, but I was happy to grab it. So I do have that, and I'm excited to use it. But I love Mrs. Meyers. If you have not tried Mrs. Meyers, you should try them. I love their counter sprays. I use them all the time in my kitchen and it leaves your kitchen smelling so good for so long. So just a note, this is a favorite of mine. Um, if I don't make it out to Bath and Body Works soon to restock on hand soaps, I was thinking like maybe I'll just place an order on MrsMyers.com because I've done that in the past and stock up on some of their fall hand soaps. So I'm really excited as like fall is approaching. Like I'm like, okay, I'm ready for it. Like we're getting there. You know what I mean? So this was all my summer hand soap progress. Got through pretty much almost all of it. Okay, so now I have two other Bath and Body Works items I want to share. And that will take us into like shower supplies, like hair care, body washes. And then at the end, I'm going to do a little bit of skincare and makeup. Now we are on to shower stuff which I'm excited about. Whenever I can get through a shower product, that's just like the best feeling because I do feel like it takes a while to get through them. So the first item I wanna share is a Bath & Body Works shower gel. This is pink chiffon. So funny, this actually was just out for semi-annual sale, but this bottle is actually like pretty old. My mom had it and I guess she just like never used it and she asked me if I wanted it, and I was like, sure. Shower gels from Bath & Body Works last forever. Um, and this was one of the ones that actually had, like, the plastic wrap, like, around the top. So it hadn't even been opened. But I was surprised at how much I liked this scent. I probably started using this, like, in springtime, and it carried me through the summer. And it was just the perfect scent for transitioning from spring to summer. It's a really nice, like light floral scent so if you're not like huge on florals um this is like a good option for you if you want to like dip your toes in the water and it it almost has some like sweetness to it so the note that like is most notable to me is pear so does this have the actual notes on it yes um this whimsical scent is a delicate blend of sparkling red pear jasmine petals and tear flower whisked with vanilla orchid and chiffon musk. I love this one and I thought about picking it up at semi-annual sale but I didn't just because I was still working through this one and I had so much other stuff that I wanted to get but this is one of those scents that they do bring out like pretty I don't want to say pretty often but it always makes appearances at semi-annual sales. It's a retired scent but it, it always comes back. So if you're ever like looking for like a sweet floral scent, like be on the hunt for this when Bath & Body Works comes out with it. Okay, so oh, one more Bath & Body Works item. I have a candle that I was so obsessed with. Cactus Blossom. Like why, like why have I never tried this? And this one is one I feel like they have like pretty often. I got this in like the spring, but this one was surprising to me because again, generally I'm not like a big floral person. Like it's not like my favorite, I guess. Like I'm not super into strong florals, but this is one of those like understated floral scents. It's not too overpowering and it's just so, so nice. It was perfect for like springtime and early summer. Um, the notes are cactus flower petals, fresh, fresh citrus, and vanilla coconut. It was so good. I like, I burned the whole thing. It is awesome. So if you're ever like on, again, like if you are not like a huge fan of strong florals, but you can appreciate them, like this is kind of somewhere in the middle. It's just really nice. Now I've got some other shower stuff I want to talk about. Not Bath and Body Works. The rest of the stuff is not Bath and Body Works. So if you're a Bath & Body Works lover and you don't care about the other stuff, peace. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. I will have more Bath & Body Works content coming out. I actually have some fall stuff I'm going to share in a haul coming soon. So be on the lookout. But if you want to see the rest of the stuff, please stick with me. So the next item I have is 
another favorite shower product of mine is Philosophy. Love their face wash, the purity. I've been using it since high school. And I love their shower gels. I actually probably use Philosophy and Bath and Body Works equally. I feel like Philosophy, the scent lasts a little bit longer on you, like after you shower. But with Bath and Body Works, you get like a little bit better of a lather when you're, you're sudsing up. So I appreciate both of them for different things. But this one took me forever to get through, and you're going to laugh because it's Christmas, but this is Candy Cane from Philosophy. This is just like the sweetest peppermint smelling shower gel ever. I love it, and it's one of those scents that if I ever like work out in the morning and shower, I use this because the, paper, the peppermint like wakes you up. Like it's just pretty strong and sweet and crisp. And it's just a really, really nice shower gel. And if you're not familiar with Philosophy shower gels, you can actually use them for shampoo and you can use them for bubble bath. I don't really use them in my hair that much because I get color on my hair and I use other products that I'm going to talk about. But you can use them. My husband loves this. Um, they do have a peppermint stick one and they're pretty similar. The only thing I'll say is Candy Cane is much, much, much sweeter smelling than peppermint stick. I almost like towards the end of it because I had been using it for so long. I was like, okay, I'm getting like a little tired of this. It's so sweet smelling, but it's great for the holiday. So like QVC is about to like, we're, you know, as soon as we hit fall, it's Christmas time. So if you've been wanting to try like philosophy stuff, especially their holiday kits are like the best. Like I love the Christmas smells and you can get really good deals. Check out QVC, be on the lookout because they always release kits and this will probably be in them. And again, like I have really nothing bad to say about it except for it's pretty sweet smelling. So if you're not a huge fan of sweet smelling stuff, just, just note that. All right, Um, next, I picked this up. It was around, I've had, like again, I've had these products forever. I picked this up around Thanksgiving and it's the Dr. Chills Body Wash with Epsom Salt. I really liked it. I, my husband doesn't really like it, but this is their sleep blend and I just like I really like aromatherapy smells so for me I really enjoyed this like when I felt like I really needed to like unwind and decompress for the day I would use this. I felt like it was pretty moisturizing it had a pretty good lather and it's pretty inexpensive like you can get the Dr. Teal's um, brand at like Target or Walmart so I got this at Ulta which I probably overpaid for it because it was from Ulta but I do really like this and I would probably buy it again. Next up, I have a little travel um, shower gel. This is the Moisturizing Cream Body Wash from Victoria's Secret. This one is in Coconut Milk Rosé and underneath it, it says Calm. I don't know a ton about like the Victoria's Secret like lines and scents. I placed an order during one of their sales and I got this for like dirt cheap. It was like, I don't know, like two or three bucks. And I use this for traveling. So I actually brought this with us to Austin, Texas when we went for that long weekend trip and then I finished it up here. I really enjoyed it. What I like about it is it's not like a gel. It really is like moisturizing. And so I really like the texture and it still suds up. I imagine it's similar to like the moisturizing um, shower gels from Bath & Body Works, which I have yet to try. I have a couple of them. I just, they haven't made it to my shower yet. But I know that Victoria's Secret and Bath & Body Works fall under the same company. So I imagine like a lot of their stuff is similar. But I did enjoy this. I have one more Victoria's Secret uh, moisturizing body shower gel in like this type of travel tube that I haven't used yet. So next trip I have, that one will be making it with me. I think it's like lavender or something like that. Um, okay, last two shower items, one that I literally just finished up. There's like a little bit left, but I think it's kind of watery, so I think I'm just going to say this one's done, is the Tree Hut Bear Moroccan Rose Shave Oil. I think I actually started using this a year ago, so it took me forever to get through, but life-changing. I, for, for years, I haven't even used like the, um shave cream like I just haven't used it usually I would just use soap but there's something about this stuff that really like you can get a really close shave with it and just like the process of shaving is so much more enjoyable because 
it smells so good like I really love this scent and I have another scent that I picked up I picked up this in watermelon it was like a limited edition summer scent and like I'm excited to use it but I'm also kind of sad because I love the Moroccan rose scent so much so it's funny I'm like I don't like florals and then it's like I have all this stuff this floral so maybe I really do like florals and they're just growing on me but if you haven't tried like the tree hut um shave oil it's really good I got this at Ulta I'm pretty certain you can get it at like some targets too and I don't know if Walmart carries it I know I definitely have seen it at targets but I don't know about Walmart um Walmart really is branching out with some of the cosmetics they're carrying so this one I can't say enough good things about it I am kind of excited I'm done with it just because it's been in my shower for again like a year so it's time to like introduce a fresh one and then lastly for shower stuff, I have this um, Color Extend Magnetic Conditioner from Redken. So I actually have the shampoo in my shower that I'm finishing up now. I have like one or two more uses, but I'm trying to think, was this the first time I tried it? I don't think it was, but I picked this up during one of the Ulta hair cells and I love it. Again, like I get my hair colored, so I do feel like it like helps with the longevity of my color, like maintaining my color. And I just picked up like two big bottles of it um, during one of their hair sales when they do like the big pump bottles. So I liked it enough to repurchase it. And again, I don't think this is the first time I purchased it. I am right now, I just threw Biolage. Um, it's like a moisturizing one in my shower that I'm using because I felt like my hair needed a little break from this because I always like to change up my hair stuff like every once in a while. And I will say I felt like my scalp was getting pretty dry. And I don't think it's necessarily like the shampoo. Because again, I have been using it for so long with no issues. But I do think eventually like you just have to change up the shampoo you're using to kind of like reset everything. And I will say though, the Biolage smells so freaking good. Like this smelled nice, but the Biolage smells so much better in my opinion. So this might get dethroned, but... I really like it. So if you've been looking for a new shampoo or conditioner, I recommend this. Also recommend Biolage. All right, last round of items. I feel like I'm actually moving pretty quickly. I feel like I shouldn't jinx myself because maybe I'll watch this back and it'll be a 30 minute video. But um, let's do makeup first because I only have a couple items. So the first item I have is the Bare Minerals Original Foundation, Loose Foundation in the shade Fair 01. I've been using this since I was in high school and especially during the summer when it's hot sometimes I just don't feel like putting a liquid foundation on and I will say generally I do feel like liquid foundations look better on me personally just because I do have dry skin so the only downside of this is it does pick up on texture however if you want to feel like you're not wearing any makeup and still have coverage i do think the bare minerals loose foundation does do the trick i'm also a huge fan of their concealer which is called bisque and it's a loose concealer i actually have it on today with just a tinted bb cream and it's unbelievable how much it covers for a dry loose powder so i wanted to mention it because this really has been like a holy grail of mine for over a decade and I keep repurchasing it. I have moments where I'm like, oh, liquid foundation just looks so much better on me. But if my skin starts to flare up, I start wearing this and my skin calms down because it just doesn't clog your pores. It's made with good ingredients and it's just a really reputable brand in line. Next item I have that is technically not empty, but it's almost empty. I have this really tiny Clinique foundation that I got. I think it was free with like Ulta and I used it for traveling. And I was kind of, so okay, it's not empty because I kind of forgot about it and now I don't think it's good because it's like a couple years old. But I wanted to mention it because, okay, first of all, no one talks about Clinique anymore. Clinique was like one of the first brands that my mom introduced me to in high school. I remember wearing their foundation in like the little glass square bottle and you guys probably know what I'm talking about but Clinique was just one of those like reputable brands for so long and I feel like they are still reputable but not as many people talk about them but anyways I got this little tiny one that I used for traveling and it's called even better clinical 
serum foundation and it has SPF of 25 in it. This was shocking to me. Like it was so full coverage, but it goes on kind of like a BB cream and it was just really wild. So I thought I would mention it if you're like the type of person that like you do appreciate full coverage, but you don't want to feel like makeup is caked on you like that is this. And so I think it'd be worth trying. I honestly probably the next time I need foundation, I should look into getting this again because I do remember I enjoyed it so much. So I thought I would mention it if you need to like change things up. If you haven't tried Clinique in a while, I just got a lipstick from Clinique that's like fabulous. And I'm like, why are people sleeping on Clinique? I just think it's one of those brands we're forgetting about, but it's just so good. Last makeup item, and then I'm moving on to skincare and lotion. I have a concealer that is literally gone from Rare Beauty. This is like, I used it to the last drop, um, but this is what it looks like. And I probably had this for a little over a year now. I wear the shade 150C. First of all, I love Rare Beauty. I've talked about them on my channel before when my channel was more beauty focused and I have not tried one bad thing from Rare Beauty. Like not one bad thing. And I feel like there's so many celebrities coming out with their own lines and it gets a little like exhausting and it's like really, but Selena Gomez is the real deal. Like her brand is so, so good. And I really enjoyed this concealer. I will be purchasing it again. Not right now. Cause I have plenty of concealer I need to use up, but I think the fact that I used it up is a testament to how good it is. It applies really easy. It blends really easy. The shade was like perfect for my skin tone. And what I love about her foundation and concealer line is once you figure out your shade, your concealer is the same number and the foundation is your same number. So like I have the foundation upstairs, which I also love. Same shade, everything matches. You don't have to worry about your concealer being too dark compared to your foundation and vice versa. It's just a really good product and I really enjoyed it. So if you've not tried anything from Rare Beauty, go try it. It's so, so good. Next, I have one lotion. This is from Hemp's. So I first tried the Hemp's lotion in the fall and I felt like again, I was like, why haven't I tried this brand? It just, their lotion smells so good. This one came out for the holidays and it used to have this cute little bell on top, actually like a jingle bell and I threw it away. But this smelled so good. It's just like sweet peppermint. It kind of reminds me of that body wash. So again, I was using this one for so long. It lasted for so long. Use it all over like my legs, my arms, and you would just smell so good for like hours. There, my first one I tried, it's still in the kitchen. I haven't finished it up. It's like a pumpkin chai latte kind of smell. It smelled so freaking good. But um it's really, it's just a fun brand. They come out with really fun scents all the time. And this one lasts me for a while. Like I just finished it up this summer. So after a while, again, like when you're using peppermint stuff for six months, you get kind of sick of it just cause you're like, oh my gosh, it's like, I smell like Christmas and it's July, which Christmas in July <laughs> is a thing. But you know, after a while you're kind of like, okay, the peppermint's a bit much, but it does smell really nice. On to skincare, and then we're wrapping things up. So this product was so amazing. I got this Caudalie um, Vino Perfect Serum in my Christmas Advent calendar from Macy's last year. This bottle is so tiny. Oh, it is going to focus. But wow, this serum is a game changer. I almost ordered the full size of it during the Spring Sephora sale, but... I was trying to be good and I had like a bunch of other skincare I wanted to use up first but I 100% am ordering this in the fall or like Christmas time for when they do this Sephora sale because it makes your skin so moisturized and for me I have dry skin and during the winter it gets worse so I'm definitely going to be picking this up it's very very expensive but it's worth it you only need like a couple drops you can rub it all over your face and it just sinks in and it's like your skin drinks it up and it leaves your skin feeling so soft. And also, I feel like if you have like dark spots or like pigmentation, it really helps with that. This stuff is the real deal. Like with skincare, generally skincare is expensive. But you know, there's some products that are like, eh, is it really worth spending $80? And I'm just throwing out an arbitrary number. I can't remember the price 
of this, but it is expensive. But this one's worth the money. It's so, so good. Literally, try it. It's so good. You can get smaller sizes too. I don't know if you can get one this small, but you can get smaller ones. It is sold on their website, obviously, and you can get it on Sephora. So I'll be picking that up during a sale. Speaking of skincare that I do not think is worth the hype. Now, I'm going to disclaim this and say that generally I really like Drunk Elephant. I think they have really good products. I really like their uh, peptide cream, like protein -y cream. It comes in the little tub with the pump. Love it. This product, I enjoyed it, but did I think it was necessary? Not 100%. This is their TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum in the pink bottle. This was very, very expensive. And it's pretty much almost gone. It's kind of one of those products, honestly, that you're only supposed to use it like twice a week. So for a long time, I was using it, I was using it, I was using it. And I don't really know if I saw a difference. To be honest, it kind of burned my skin sometimes. And I heard that like eventually your skin just gets used to it. But I feel like my skin never did. And my skin's just kind of sensitive. Um, and then I kind of just like forgot about it and it literally was sitting on my vanity and I just wasn't using it It is like I can hear where the little pump is and it's down here So I know it's like almost gone, but the last time I went to use it. It smelled kind of funky So I was like, okay, I think this one's done I would say it's a pass for me. I'm not gonna repurchase it, but I do know people rave about this stuff They swear by it. So it could just be that my skin personally does not agree with it, but Generally, as a brand, I do enjoy Drunk Elephant. I do think a lot of their products are worth the money and hype. Just for me, this one was not necessary. Okay, a couple other skincare items. We have the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream in this little travel size. I think this came with a kit, or I might have got it for free. Might have been my birthday uh, treat at Sephora. Loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. I... I'm a moisturizer junkie. Like I feel like I always buy so many moisturizers at the same time, and I've made I've made so much project on, progress on using moisturizers up. This one I will repurchase. I'm trying to decide for the Sephora sale if I want to get this one or if I want to get the Milk Makeup Moisturizer because that one is one I haven't had in a while and I really enjoy it. But this was just like it's a lightweight cream. Did this one have a scent? I can't remember. A little bit of a scent but nothing crazy and it's just so moisturizing it feels so good on the skin it's like a little bit cooling it's just really nice generally I love Laneige products they're so good speaking of Laneige this is their lip balm I've talked about this on my channel plenty of times I've repurchased this four times now like I'll continue to repurchase it this one was in the pear scent and I do believe this scent got discontinued which I'm actually really sad about because I do love pear scented things and you don't really find a lot of pear scented stuff but this one was really nice and it just had like a really fresh pear smell I've used a grapefruit I have used that one twice and then the new one I have is mixed berry so that's next on my list to try but this balm it's so nice because it really does moisturize your lips. Like, I don't use chapstick anymore at all. Like, to me, chapstick is trash. This is so much better, and it just leaves your lips looking so nice and, like, juicy. Is he snoring? Oh, my God, he's snoring. Can you hear him? Like, how is he snoring with me, like, yelling at the camera? I'm dying. But anyways, it leaves your lips like so glossy and pretty. So it's perfect to throw in your purse and just be on the go with. Did I wake you up? Oh my goodness, you were snoring so loud. You were snoring so loud. You look panicked. You were in a deep sleep, little bud. Next up, I have a Cetaphil Daily Oil Free Hydrating Lotion for face. This was for combination skin. It was okay. Like... I know people love Cetaphil. I mean, I do enjoy Cetaphil. Was this like a standout product to me? Not necessarily, but it did the job and it's all empty. Um, if you, I think for me, the problem is like my skin is pretty dry. So I think it wasn't that it was bad. It's just like my skin needs more, more, more moisture than what this provided. 
since this is for a combination skin. If you are a little more on the oily side, I think this would be perfect because it is very, very lightweight. It just gives, it's like a kiss of moisture, just a kiss. But I need like it to get real deep down in there. Like I need, I need major help because my skin is really dry. And the last moisturizer that I have is the Tatcha Water Cream. My camera will focus because this container is so, so beautiful. And it comes with the little spatula on top. But this is one of those brands that's worth every penny. I repurchased this. It's upstairs. I got like the limited edition big one that came out for the Sephora sale. It's so pretty. It's got like flowers on it. Little bit of fragrance. Again, not super heavy. I don't like putting a lot of fragrance on my face. A lot of the luxury brands do have a little bit of a scent. This is not overpowering. And it's very light. I will say my mom uses like the Neutrogena water cream. And I looked it up and they're supposed to be like dupes of one another. So this cream is very expensive. So if you don't want to spend the money on it, you can try the Neutrogena one. I really should try that honestly because it would save me the money. But I just feel like Tatcha is so worth it. Like... This isn't too heavy, so it's perfect for summer. I like to put this on at nighttime and like right after I wash my face. Sir, where are you going? <laughs> what are you doing? You weren't comfy the other way? I'm sorry, you guys are getting all the, do the dog footage today. He's just moving around so much. But anyways, it's lightweight, but it's still moisturizing. It does the job. And the other product that I love is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I just repurchased that. It had been years since I used it, and I forgot how much that one is amazing too. That one I wear in the morning. It's a little thicker, and I put it on, and my makeup goes over it so nicely. Makes my makeup last longer. But generally, Tatcha is just so good. Like... I am all for saving money when you can, but I'm a sucker for nice skin products and Tatcha just, it ranks up there with some of the best I've ever tried. So highly recommend. All right, last two items. I'm going to try to do this really quick because my camera is almost out of juice. This makeup eye remover, Take the Day Off by Clinique eye makeup remover is the best. It is for lids, lashes, and lips. And I finished this whole bottle and when I was done, I missed it so much that I went out and I bought the bigger bottle. And <clears throat> I've used the Neutrogena like eye makeup remover in the past. I like it enough, but this is just better. Like I feel like with the Neutrogena, I still had to work a little bit to get my, my eye makeup off, like really rub. And with this, I don't have to do that. I just put a little bit on my makeup, rem makeup eraser, like wipe my eyelid off and literally everything's gone. It's effortless. It doesn't leave any makeup behind. And for me, I've always struggled with getting my eye makeup off. I don't know what it is about my eyelids, but I always feel like I just had a little bit of makeup left over. It didn't matter how much I washed my face or what I used. So this has been a game changer. I highly recommend it. Very last product, which is almost empty. So I figured I mentioned it just because I love it so much is the Josie Moran cleanser. And it is just, you'll see there's just a little bit left at the bottom, but this is the Pineapple Enzyme Pore Clearing Cleanser. It foams up really nicely. It's not a foaming, like it doesn't come out foam, but when you like rub it on your face, it lathers up really nice. It just leaves the skin feeling so clean. And I noticed when I used this, my skin just started clearing up and my skin just looked more radiant. I got this from Sephora, but I do know they sell it at Ulta now. I love this. I will be repurchasing it. I unfortunately have like two more cleansers that I bought like around the same time that I need to use first. But as soon as I'm out of those, I'm going back to this because it's a fave and I love it so much. This is probably my favorite product that I'm talking about out of this whole bag of stuff. This here is in the top, 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 tippy top. It's so good. All right, so that concludes my empties. It was quite the empty haul. I hope you guys enjoyed my first empties video. I'm really proud of myself for using up so many products, especially for me, like I did spend quite a bit of money on all this stuff. So it is nice when you can use it up and say you used it and enjoyed it. So I hope you got some good recommendations out of this video. Maybe it gave you some inspiration. 
to go pick up a couple self-care items for yourself because you deserve it. Make sure you're taking time for yourself. It's so important. And thanks again for watching today. If you enjoyed it, again, please give it a like. It helps my channel out so much. And I would love to have you subscribe to my channel to join me in the future. And until next time, bye guys. Hey!